Welcome back to my channel. This is your MSK25 TV and welcome sa ating day 2 part 3 sa ating gala here sa Bangkok, Thailand. So guys, um, we are now here in our hotel. This is the view that we see from the uh, from our room. So it's overlooking and this is the bathroom so laisho laisho siya guys may kunting kalaisohan tong hotel na to it's called the continent boutique hotel so ayan yung ano niya guys ang laisho ng kanyang meron pa silang pa um bathtub so ayan at may view pa talaga yung bathtub so ang ganda naman ng loob ng kanilang um CR so that's me ayan explore natin kasi bakit hindi so ayan guys I think we're trying to um, understand the place so each floor yung theme nya is like different place so na assign kami dito sa Paris another floor parang Japan another floor is like other country so this is actually me guys kasi since maaga kami dumating from Watpo Temple, we decided to buy something to drink at night. So, i-explore natin yung 7-Eleven dito sa Bangkok. So, let's see. Um, walking distance siya sa place na inistayhan namin na tinatawag na The Continent Boutique uh, Hotel. So, walking distance lang siya, guys. So, this is the inside of... 7-Eleven in Bangkok. So, it's like the same, almost the same here in the Philippines sa mga ganitong items. Actually, I'm looking for something na ma maiinom kasi hindi ako nakapoop for a couple of days kasi nga sa mga kinakain natin walang veggies. So, ayan. Kaya pumunta na tayo dito sa 7-Eleven ng Bangkok. So, ayan yung napili kong bilhin. Sana makaano tayo dito. Maka-relief sa ating mga bigat na nararamdaman. And we also decided to buy something that we can drink at night para mas cheaper compared kung pupunta ka pa ng bar and order there. So, these are some of the ready to eat goods and some of the sweets. Ang ganda. Sana meron ding sweets na ganyan sa 7-Eleven dito sa Philippines. But, yeah. Hindi ako nag-try ng ganyan. Hindi ko masyadong uh, hindi siya masyadong nakaka-capture sa aking um, feelings at that moment. So, hindi tayo bumili ng sweets. So, ayun na guys. Yan yung laman ng 7-Eleven sa Bangkok. So, almost the same lang ng ating uh, 7-Eleven dito sa Philippines. Pero, mas marami silang varieties na pwede mong pagpipilian when it comes to ready to eat, um, fruits, vegetables, desserts. Kasi, mas wala masyadong dessert dito sa ating 7-Eleven. Ano, so, ayan. So, since nabili na natin, Bumalik tayo doon sa hotel guys and since marami pang oras we decided to enjoy the uh, in the infinity pool ng area so ito yung pool nila guys sa I think 37th floor so ayan so syempre ano na naman tayo guys sa aura na naman tayo dito sa pool nila kasi walang masyadong tao kaya unahan na nating mag aura sa place na to kaya enjoy natin yung moment so ayan guys deep 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 lang tayo sa pagsiswim swim kailangan din tayo magsiswim swim na parang pro kasi why not naman ba? so that's me guys enjoying enjoying the moment so at night ito yung makikita natin um napaka romantic ng view guys at night ba? so ito yung view mo and the street is always busy so ba? and after that guys nag ready na kami to go to the night market this is Jod's Fair Night Market we need to ride a train and then head to this place so parang sugbo mercado lang din ng um, Philippines ang kanilang night market the difference is 
masyadong maraming foreigners, different culture, different races. So, ayan. At saka yung varieties ng kanilang pagkain, guys, ang dami-dami din. So, ayan yung unang bubungad sa inyo na mga display items. Actually, hindi na kami naglibot-libot ng bonggang-bongga sa night market kasi ang daming tao, guys. Yung parang magsastampid na sa street. So, if you want to to just witness or to just see what you can see here in the night market then it's good pero usual talaga siyang night market na super busy sobrang daming tao nagsisikipan ang init so parang nasa sogbo merkado ka lang din ng IT park kasi yung view building building yung mga uh, maraming buildings na nakapaligid tapos parang nandun kayo sa ground zero na na naka, napaka flat tapos ang dadami nyo dun sa baba na kung an anong yung gusto nyo kainin or gawin so ayun yun lang usual lang talaga guys na nakikita when you go to a night market so ang kaibahan lang talaga is uh, meron silang mara maraming options na pagpipilian at iba yung language na ginagamit tapos ang dami daming foreigners na makikita tapos yung kind ng food nila is also a little bit a little bit strange or different from ours so yun lang talaga yung difference ni guys the rest is the same the kind of ambience or the community that you will witness is the same aside from this one kasi hindi ako nakakakita ng aquarium dito sa night market sa ano sa Sugbo Mercado but I, I I don't think meron din sa Carbon Night Market so guys for this one we decided to buy a squid yung parang yung parang inihaw na fried squid so ayan yun siya um, I think this is 80 or 100 plus ba? Nakalimutan ko yung price. Uh, pero yung small lang yata yan. Second to the small or medium size. Something like that. So, hindi na natin pinaanghang. Kasi baka hindi natin makain. And then guys, we head to the next kiosk. Sa, so, sa, ano, sa night market. And we decided to try this kind of soup. Na parang thigh soup din mamura lang din siya, parang 80 baht lang yata, and then ayan, nag-order tayo, so almost yung inu-order natin is either small or um, medium kasi yung large naman talaga ay eh, hindi naman talaga natin, kayang ubusin, ayan, while waiting for our order guys, yan pinapak na namin yung shrimp na, ay no, yung pusit na na, una nating nabili and parang usual lang din naman. And our next order is ito siya. Green curry fried rice, guys. It's delicious pero ang ang tapang ng spices nakakaloka. Ito yung soup na hindi natin na nakuha ng video kasi na, na excited tayong kumain. Hindi ko din maalala yung pangalan. And for the dessert, guys, ayan, dahil masyado siyang colorful ang ang um, dessert na ito it's called um crepe ayan guys so i ordered um crepe with mixed fruits so ayan yung ginawa ni madam pinaghirapan niya ang order natin i think this is 165 baht and kasha na siya sa dalawa to tatlong tao guys and yung fruits talaga is real fruits so i think it's worth it naman so that's the finished product ng 30 minutes yata or i think 20 minutes na ginawa ni madam so ayan na yan yung ating dessert for this video guys um hindi naman talaga super 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 um delicious pero masarap na so after all the eating moments, ayan guys so we're going back to our place, kasi busog na kami so ganin na yung pag ano guys, it's my first time also to experience na magpunta sa train station, and buy a ticket, uh, ride a train it's my first time, so every moment na may ginagawa ako there sa Bangkok is always 
amazing and exciting for me so ito yung train station natin guys going to going back to our hotel at nagugustuhan ko nang mag ride ng ano ng train kaysa mag taxi kasi it's not all the time naman na we can or we can ride a train here in Cebu so, ayan I'm just savoring the moment of being in the train, in the train station like looking for your platform kung saan ka sasakay ba diba, napaka exciting so sa mga nakakapag like using train as their normal transport and hindi, nyo maka, hindi kayo makakarelate sa feeling ko but since it's my first time and it's in a different place and this is the city that you can see guys well crossing back to our place this is the main street diba so ang busy busy so kinapture talaga natin yung my name para ano talaga feel na feel talaga natin na we're there so that's the recap of my second day gala in Thailand and eh? in Bangkok, Thailand. So the rest, guys, are the photos captured sa ating mga galaan at mga oran. So I hope you enjoy watching. change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay i move on each and every day the past